Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again and many of you had asked me for making a video uh, on successful real estate uh, business and finally here is one video. So this is the example of a person who has been very 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 successful in real estate and uh, today we will discuss some of the combinations which can lead a person to being very successful in the real estate business and of course as usual uh, there are many 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 combinations uh, I cannot discuss everything here these are some of the combinations so now you may have these combinations and you may still be working in a IT company or you may be working as a teacher okay so one placement if it is different can change everything remember that that is why even though you may have these placements you may not be working in real estate okay so don't think that uh, don't do lottery okay lottery means okay out of five uh, sorry out of nine five of my planets are in same house same sign so maybe i can also be uh, 30 percent of a real estate agent okay so astrology doesn't work like that okay so there are many principles which i will illustrate here and uh, we must check the navamsha also so i have put the lagna chart and the navamsha chart side by side uh, there are certain planets whose strength we must check in the navamsha irrespective of anything else all right so what is real estate basically real estate of course there are many facets to that one of the most important things is the seventh house in real estate now why do i say seventh house generally people think real estate means the fourth house okay anything to do with the fourth house is real estate no it's not like that well the fourth house is the is the field of the home but when you are talking of that as a business what are you doing actually so a successful real estate person who he 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 must be able to showcase people how life would be when they move out of their existing home and they come to the new home okay so a person's existing home is seen from the fourth house because that's the house of property land and uh, physical existence basically where you go and withdraw yourself this is the 10th house where you go and show yourself this is where you withdraw so it is like saying a home away from your home so you are situated in a place how would you feel if you go out of this home and go and stay in another home so therefore it is not the fourth it is fourth from the fourth so one two three four fourth from the fourth is the seventh house and time and again and again i have seen the the seventh house playing huge and very crucial roles when it comes to real estate every time i see this of course the uh, the uh, fourth house and seventh house has to be linked somehow or the other okay otherwise it is very difficult and also somehow the fourth and the seventh has to be linked with the tenth and the eleventh only then the money comes otherwise you may be doing real estate but the money will not come okay the money comes from the tenth and the eleventh so if these two lords of the tenth and the eleventh are somehow associated with uh see the first thing you have to check if the fourth and the seventh are associated then you have to check if the lords of the tenth and the eleventh are somehow associated with these planets okay only then the huge, huge sum of money will come otherwise not uh the other thing that we must check is if somehow the lagna lord is involved with these houses okay so now let us go and check there are many other uh, uh, 
placements which i will tell you later so first is we check where is the lagnesh lagnesh is saturn here saturn is in the seventh house that fulfills this condition that the lagnesh should be associated with either the fourth or the seventh <coughs> then what about the uh, fourth lord what about the fourth house the fourth lord is it associated uh, well no so what about the seventh lord there you see sun is the seventh lord and he is situated in the fourth house so seventh lord in the fourth or fourth lord in the seventh so this is this is a very important uh, condition because this somehow links these two houses hmm? the seventh lord being in the fourth and therefore the person can be into real estate so now what about the 10th and the 11th houses so who is the 10th lord here we see the 10th lord here is mars and there you see this mars is in the 7th house who is the 11th lord is jupiter again in the 7th house aspecting the lagna jupiter mars aspecting the lagna very powerful placement placements indeed both of them indeed and uh, after that there are some there are some other yogas also you can check okay about which i will tell you so now uh, there are two types of people who we can check in real estate one is to this at a gross level you know, who is just doing it for money but that may not make you very successful if you are not interested in pursuing that and how do you know if you are interested in pursuing that how do you know if that is your passion how do you know that is like the most important thing in your life well for that you have to check the fifth house and you have to check venus yes very 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 crucial because venus will show the things that you love to do yourself imagine tomorrow uh, nobody would give you any money then imagine there was no uh, scarcity of money or you know you never needed to work for your stomach or you didn't have any desire so ask yourself this question what would you do tomorrow morning yes that is what is fifth house that is what is venus so uh, we also have to check if venus is somehow associated with the fourth house or the seventh house or at least the 10th and the 11th okay <clears throat> so now here venus is the lord of the fourth house and it is situated in the fifth house this is one of the best placements to have this is this is a very big raj yoga which is occurring fourth lord fifth lord conjunct in the fifth house mercury is the fifth lord itself venus is yog karak for this lagna aquarius rising and it is the ninth lord of bhagya it is sitting in the fifth house of purva punya now as the lord of the fourth house also with the lord of the fifth house in the fifth so this is a phenomenal placement this is like the person can be so much passionate about uh, this real estate work that he may forget anything and everything in life hmm? so this is uh, we we can see this condition is being satisfied here so now any links with the 10th or the 11th uh, well venus is aspecting but uh, not a very strong link though so what does this mean so this means that uh the person is not doing all this because the person wants money or uh, power position name fame he is not doing it because of that he is doing it because he likes it naturally he is very naturally uh, inclined towards real estate or um, any work related to real estate so uh, now suppose this mars would be somehow conjunct venus or jupiter would be conjunct venus then that would have meant that uh, this person is doing it more for money you know rather than doing it for passion so here venus yeah it aspects but that aspect is not good enough 
for us to conclude that this person is only interested in the financial aspect no it's not like that he he's doing it because he likes it uh, but somehow these two lords are associated with the house of real estate so by destiny uh, although he is not doing it for money purely he is earning a lot actually okay so now what do we do the next thing we check is what is the situation of uh, venus and the fourth lord of the lagna chart in the navamsha chart should i repeat what is the situation of venus and the fourth lord of the rashi chart in the d9 the navamsha chart very 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 crucial placement so if you check here who is we who is the fourth lord again the fourth lord is venus so we just have to check venus so you see here venus is in the navamsha lagna and it is in the sign of libra again it is with the seventh lord mars you see phenomenal placement to have aspected by the ninth lord mercury very beautiful placement so therefore this placement is very strong by his destiny by his own karma from the past lives and there is something very interesting which you can note here this venus is this is very rarely you will see not only for venus for any other planet it is totally not it is totally unafflicted if you see okay you see saturn is uh, not aspecting saturn is aspecting ninth then the lagna then the fourth then rahu is not aspecting hmm. then sun is not aspecting then mangal is aspecting 10th lagna and second so very rarely you will see this venus is not afflicted and now you may be thinking oh but what about this uh, sun rahu pap kartari yoga no actually there is no pap kartari yoga because of the degrees uh, because uh, venus is behind mercury and moon is ahead of the sun okay so therefore venus uh, the planet behind venus is actually moon and the planet ahead venus is actually mercury okay so although it appears like this here that sun rahu is doing pap kartri but by degree there is no pap kartri and when you check pap kartri yogas you must check the degrees okay just because two malefics are in the other houses don't just uh, go on telling oh pap kartri is there this is there that is there all right so this is very crucial because uh, we do not check the degrees and we say oh the planet has a malefic in the next in the second house another 12th house from it oh that is why it is uh, under pap kartri no if there are other planets like here mercury and moon in these houses then you must check them what if jupiter was here and jupiter was behind rahu even then the pap kartri would be uh, cancelled okay because then venus would be closer to jupiter not rahu so there is no pap kartri over in the chart and um, if you check carefully this venus is also placed uh, in gemini which is a which may not be a very great sign for venus but still it is a friend sign so this person is very good in matters of real estate and uh, this person because the lagnesh saturn is involved so this person has been uh, into all this from his childhood almost and now uh, we have to check if the second house is somehow associated so here also if you check jupiter is the second lord influencing this and here also mars is you know influencing venus so this interest has come more <clears throat> from his family side actually not that he was him he is or he was himself never interested and the family pushed him it is not like that but 
somehow uh, the family was already into real estate and this person really made it very big hmm? and now another thing I have noticed if uh, if uh, planets like Mars do not agree or Saturn do not agree then the person somehow cannot go into real estate because they are the significators of real estate not real estate they are significators of land basically and real estate is related to land so here if you check Saturn and Mars are participating in these combinations by being in the seventh house okay so therefore he will either be into land or real estate now because his venus is also involved so he's involved into making homes and houses and another planet that we must check is the moon basically because moon is the karaka for the fourth house okay moon will give you that emotional sense of comfort and peace and happiness and just look at that moon it is in dig bala and in exaltation this is like this is that's a crazy placement actually and uh, this don't think that sun and moon are together so this is amavasya no they are not uh, they are together but uh, this is not amavasya moon is way way ahead of the sun okay so the tithi is not amavasya the moment you see sun moon together don't claim that it is amavasya you don't know the degrees so uh, if you don't know the degrees don't just say directly it is amavasya so in this case it is not amavasya tithi okay and moon is exalted the dispositor is in the fifth house of past life good deeds a very 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 beautiful placement and it is also in dig bala so this planet is like pulling this person and in the Navamsha also moon is very well placed in Leo it is a great sign friend sign and it is in the 11th house of gain so this moon is like giving him uh, fortune and money like anything like nobody else hmm? and therefore these are the combinations and placements that you can check and as I said there are many other placements which will be there which you can also write down in the comments if you know i'll be very happy to see them and learn from you and you can share this video with somebody who wants to make it big in the real estate business and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me you can go to the description section of my videos down to find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much